Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to MuseBud. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do follow the instructions contained in the video description. Thank you again. So, what is MuseBud? Well, MuseBud is yet again a new app, a new bud app from Gem All K. Yes, Gem is back again with a new bud app. It's a generative AUV3 MIDI sequencer. Let me give you a demonstration inside Cubasis. So I've just created a project. I'm going to click here where it says add, and then I'm going to select MIDI so I can create a MIDI track. Next, I'm going to click here on the piano to bring up this window where I can see the preset for the instrument, which at the moment is microsonic. I click here on the arrow to point to the left to go up a level, and then I select Neo FM as an instrument. I have a list of category, I select bass, and I have now a list of preset in, inside, inside that um, bass bank. I'm going to choose FM bass, and then I'm going to activate the keys here so that I can sample it nice base. Now I'm going to click up here on the X to exit it. Next I'm going to open the inspector, clicking here on this arrow, and then I'm going to select MIDI effects, then I'm going to tap here where it says tap to add effects, and then I'm going to scroll down until I find Muse Bud. Okay, and there it is. Now I'm going to close the list of preset here, clicking here where it says list and browse, and then I'm going to click on this icon here to maximize the window. So this is what the app looks like. So at the top left, we have different modes. The first one is notes, which represent a number, um, number of steps here, with which correspond to a note, a step for each note, with the exclusion or the exception of the first one, which is for a rest or pause or for a note that doesn't produce any sound, a rest. Then we have octave, where we can choose octave, duration, velocity, gate, ratchet for a fast repetition of notes. And then we have a looper where we can play and record as well. Now at the bottom here, you have a patterns as normally it is in the case of bad apps. So you can create more than one patterns. Clicking on the plus here, you can create a new pattern. Then you can click an old um, on a pattern and then it gives you the option to copy. And then if you copy it to paste, delete, etc., etc. At the bottom right here, you have a number of options which change also depending on the mode that you are in. At the, mo at, at the moment in the note mode, you have all set to zero, which is particularly means set to zero, the probability of each note to be generated, because that is how it works. Or you can say set it to 100%. So we have 100% probability of all these notes to be generated. Okay, or you can click on draw, and then you can draw something clicking and hold with the mouse or use your finger. Okay, and then of course you can disable it. And then you go in settings, which is where I recommend you start from. In settings, you can change the pattern CC number, in this case is number 10. But of course you can choose another one, which you can use of course to change the pattern through MIDI using MIDI CC, you can change the input and output MIDI channels, and then you can choose the scale and also the key. I like to play with minor scale, so I'm going to choose a minor, so I would be in the scale of C key minor, okay? You can change the knob control style, vertical, horizontal, etc. You can look at a brief tutorial, you can rate the app, get some feedback as well. Click done when you finished. Now, let's click play. So you will hear now a number of notes which are generated, okay, based on this probability here, which you have on the screen. Okay, you see also that the, num the notes at the top have changed to, to reflect the notes which belong to the C minor scales, which I have chosen. Okay, let's uh, remove a little bit or decrease a little bit the probability for uh, a rest of poses to be played. Then next, what I want to do, I click on octave, perhaps the 
it was going too low as an octave, so I removed that. So I set the probability zero for octave two, and I remove also the top one, I set it to zero. So I have probability only on these two octave for notes to be generated, which hopefully will fit better with that type of presets which I have chosen. Let's try. Okay, that's better. Then next, what I want to do, I click on duration, and I want to remove those notes which last for too long. So I remove probability um, towards half notes here, and perhaps also I don't want to change too quick, so I remove one sixteen. So I leave them in quarter and eighth. Okay, in terms of duration, and let's click play. Sounds already better as a bass. Let's go to velocity. Now, this again is a probability of different velocity to be generated for notes. I like to remove, for example, the top ones to have something more in the middle as velocity. Next, I have gate, how open the gate is for the notes. And then ratchet, the number of repetition, which I like to keep it uh, quite simple. So I remove the two, I make sure that there is no a repetition of two note three and four and I leave it just one okay now let's play and let's listen okay so that is uh, in essence how it works a couple of other things so when you go in duration you see here at the bottom you have the ability also to choose dotted and triplet as well which is really really nice okay and um, then additionally if you go um, through the um, duration actually here you see an option also for swing as well which I haven't mentioned which is one of the latest addition of um, in terms of update to the app okay so let's go through the looper now the looper acts as a sequencer, so it, by default it is in record mode, you can see here, and it's recording up to, as you can see here, a 64 notes. And for the number of notes and the duration, it calculates the equivalent number of bars. So you can change the dial here to reduce the number of notes that it will use as a sequencer. So in this case, let's say eight. And then you can also start here at different points like so start the second third etc and then as you click play because it is in record mode it keeps generating notes and recording them And you can see they are shifted up, but it keeps this range of uh, starting from number four and having eight notes. And the reason it does that is because when you are happy, you can disable record and activate play. So it will play only these notes, including the rest as well. Well, you see a number between brackets, that is the number of ratchet, so we repeat twice that note. If you're not happy with one note, click on it, and then it gives you the option to remove it, or also to edit it, which is great. And when you go in edit mode, you can change the note here, according to the scale, the octave up and down, the duration, the velocity, the gate, and the ratchet. So let's remove the ratchet, for example, there, and let's click play. <laughs> And this, and, and this is great. So when you finish and you like it, you can say record the track in terms of cue basis, go back right at the beginning, make sure that the, rec the arm for recording is enabled, click record. And when you finish, stop that. And then what you can do is um, set it there, for example, Split it so we can uh, then remove that part here. We can set it on a loop here, go back at the beginning. We can disable Muse Bud. Now we have a little loop generated for that particular base. And of course, you can continue like that. So, for example, why not? Let's duplicate that track right on the second track let's re-enable musepad 
Let's go inside in Neo FM. Let's change the type of category here. Let's go, um, for example, to guitar plug. Why not? Let's choose uh, a FM guitar. Let's close that. Let's go inside MuseBud. And um, now let's remove record to track. Let's reconfigure it a little bit. We go to notes. We remove, for example, a couple of notes like so. We set it as octave higher as well, like so. And also duration, we include 16th as well and remove the quarter. So let's listen. You see option here at the bottom to clear as well, which is nice because then you can restart in terms of recording. And of course, when you find something that you like, stop the recording. You are in play mode there as well. You can set it now record to track. Then um, you can see at the moment it was, uh, um, we copied the track. So you have this one already here, this MIDI region. So remove that, go back to the beginning, set the new track to record to track, and then record. Of course, I set it now in a loop, so it started to um, overlap, but of course you don't need to, uh, to do that. So for example, you could uh, erase that and try again. Stop that. So we go up here, we split it and then erase. We set this as a loop, we disable newspad and there we are. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and tutorial, and as always, see you next time. Bye.